evidence is there of support for your party and what you're trying to campaign on? Well, as you said, our, our primary campaigning position is that we're campaigning for a parliament for yes. England, a first minister for England, and a government for England with at least the same powers as the Scottish ones. And um, the fact is there have been a series of opinion polls now for three or four years which have shown consistently more than 60% support. Yes, but you have, you've got no MPs as such, but what is your best hope in this election? Well, uh, certainly one of the areas that we're concentrating on heavily is Doncaster. We've got three Labour uh, seats there. Uh, with fairly unpopular MPs, um, none of whom got more than 30% of the electorate voting for them at the last election. Um, if um, people want to throw them out, we are the uh, party who's challenging. Yeah, and as far as your views in terms of, a, of an English Parliament, I mean, how much would it actually cost to set up? What would be involved in those terms of setting up a Parliament? And, and do you envisage then the breakup of the UK completely? Right. Uh, as far as the actual form of the Parliament is concerned, we think we ought to go through a similar process to what, what Scotland did, which is having a constitutional convention so there could be a degree of consensus as to how the Parliament right. would be formed. Um, in terms of cost, you've got to bear in mind that we have already got very expensive regional bodies of one sort or another that um, the two parties have created. Um, if we got rid of those, we'd have more than sufficient money to set up an English Parliament um, and... Uh, so I, I think it would be cost-neutral or we, may, we might save money. Also, if you've got an English Parliament, you are left only with uh, the non-devolved issues being dealt with by Westminster, uh, and certainly we could, we could have uh, significantly fewer MPs there. Um, one proposal that was made a few years back, which uh, certainly many of our members are attracted to, was actually made by Lord Cranbourne when he was Tory leader. He, was, he said that the House of Commons should be reformed to be the English Parliament, and the House of Lords should be reformed to be a directly elected Senate for uh, the whole of the UK. And what about the relationship then with the rest of the UK? Well, we don't think it, it, it needs to be um, any more a question of breaking up the UK than the creation of the Scottish Parliament was. Really? Why? Well, I mean, what, surely would that, that's exactly what would happen as a result of doing what you've just explained. It would well, just... if, if, the, if that is the case, then surely the same must be true of setting up a Scottish Parliament. We, we are calling... Uh, for a parliament which would have similar powers to the Scottish Parliament. Uh, and you have to bear in mind that in Scotland, all three of the Unionist parties are saying, following the Cowman Commission, that they should have yet more power. Uh, so obviously the Unionist parties don't think that it's going to cause the breakup of the Union to have Scotland having um, proper, proper parliamentary representation and, and its own government. Why should it make any difference for England? And what about in terms of consulting people? You're obviously keen to have referendums. What, what would you do? What would be your first couple of referendums if the English Parliament were to come into being? What would you like to consult people on? Well, I mean, we, one of the things we do say is that the setting up of an English Parliament should be, should be um, subject to a referendum anyway from yes. the people. Um, we are also calling in this election for a referendum for England to leave the EU. Um, but anything... Our, our um, manifesto position... Um, is that basically any significant um, alteration to the Constitution ought to occur following a referendum or with the approval of the people in a referendum. Thank you very much. Where would the English Parliament sit? Um, I think, Andrew, that's, that's, a, that's an issue that would have to be decided. If you'd move um, to the north, that would do a lot for regional policy, wouldn't it? It, it would, yes. I mean, oh, certainly Billy be Bragg suggested York as, as an example. We, we, we wouldn't be uh, opposed to that. Um, but I think, I think it would have to be... Okay discussion uh, that have to be a consensus as to where it should be. All right. Thank you for that.